Bithynia. Bithynia. Do you recognize the name? Does it speak of a great people led by heroes? No? Does this name cause you to bow with respect or cower in fear? No again. Perhaps this is because there is a greater name. One that will scrub Bithynia off the map and leave it an unread footnote in the history of our nation. That name is ours. That name is mine and we will end Bithynia's folly, enslave their people and send a message to all those who would stand in our way. Even now, after taking Nicaea, there are rumblings of betrayal from our so-called allies. Cappadocian lords mumble that we are distracted and the evil Ptolemies look eagerly to Anatolia. But I can promise you this, if it comes to war, there will be no distraction. Bithynia will remain a footnote, yes, but a footnote in the long lists of victories so great that even Alexander would bless us in happiness. So mark this, betrayal by the Cappadocians or any other false friend will be met with total conquest. There will be no distractions. And when you're on your knees praying for mercy at the end of a long road of death and destruction, know this, it was your folly and betrayal that caused it. And where once there were two names will be left only one, the Seleucid Empire. Glory to the gods, glory to Antiochus, and glory to a name that will ring through the history books for a thousand years. Long live the Seleucids and death to all those who betray us. Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where today we are continuing our glorious Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. If you're watching this directly after the premiere, I hope you enjoyed episode 1 and I hope you're enjoying our little intros to these uh, to these uh, episodes. Kind of little stories and that's going to continue. Um, I hope you kind of like that guys. I really enjoy it because I love story writing, writing sort of stories. Uh, making sure everything is uh, is a okay and going cool. So we've done pretty well, I'd say. We've done pretty well so far. Uh, we've got a couple of people to move, but they'll move automatically by themselves. We've taken Nikia, Nikaya, and we are going to take Nicomedia, uh, and that's going to be a glorious, glorious destruction of the Bithynians, nice and early. And then we're going to turn our attention. To the darn Galatians over here, which will be a bit more of a challenge. They kind of fill this area. You can see they're over there as well. And then if we do that, we'll move up north. I can't quite remember who's north. Is it just uh, rebels? But we'll take uh, this territory as well, Chios, once we've taken Nicomedia. On the way back for, to Sardis for some retraining, uh, we'll come back to... Uh, Sardis? Sardis, there we are. <laughs> we'll come back to Sardis for some lovely retraining. Um... And then we'll move east towards Galatia. Um, we've stabilized the country, kind of. There's not as much rebellions and uh, rebels going on. Once we've fully got our economy banging, guys, we've, once we've got it going well, what we'll end up doing is starting to culture convert a lot of these places. As we can see, we've got a lot of Mesopotamium here, including our own capital, guys. It's uh, Mesopotamium. But it is getting converted to Greek, but a few of these places, like Babylon, for example, are not getting converted to Greek. So we're going to have to culture convert these places, try and get them all to Greek, because this is our heartland, guys. We don't want any of these places to be rebelling at all. There are Greek, um, there are Greek colonies down here, so set, uh, cities set up by the Seleucids and Alexander himself, Alexandria Cherex. I mean, it's a bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of a um, giveaway, guys. If somewhere is called Alexandria, it was a colony <laughs> set up by Alexander. Uh, a city built by Alexander. So uh, we've got a lot of those places around here. Um, and we need to kind of tra uh, keep them up. But you can see uh, Seleucia. Uh, there we are. Seleucia, Pierre area. That was set up by Seleucos, Antiochia. 
set up by Antioch, uh, Antiochus, like we are fighting now. But without further ado, guys, let's uh, press that end turn and let's see where we get to. Obviously, we have an active settlement, bro. Uh, spy, I mean, I think you're fine here. Maybe come over this way, have a cheap, sneaky peek at Kamana. Yeah, I think we're, I think they're going for the rebel settlements more than anything else. Problem is, the Ptolemies are going to declare war on us at some point. We just want to get to the point where we're rich enough and strong enough to fight them and have an army ready on this southern border, ready to go. Because that's going to be a brutal and bloody war, guys. That's going to be a brutal and bloody war. We also want to take the southern tip of Anatolia here and these islands, as well as Cyprus, um, off them. So we basically become the undisputed masters of Anatolia at some point. But anyway, let's uh, click that end, end turn button and see what happens. Uh, we're entering Byblos. Byblos! Very nice indeed. Gebal. And uh, we got Coil Syria. That's the uh, top of Coil Syria there. Coily Syria. Um, that's the region that I talked about in my first intro. Uh, that we've given up most of it to the Ptolemies. Uh, because they struck while we were fighting in the west. Ah, the damn bastards. They've betrayed us. But we uh, we will take those regions back. And we will destroy Egypt at some point, guys. So they're basically something we didn't really talk about too much. I'm going to accept you. Oh my god, how many people down here can we have? Good lord. Uh, one thing I didn't really talk about too much was the end goal for this campaign. And... We kind of want to restore Alexander's empire. That's kind of the goal. Obviously, we have half of it already, so we're going to start pretty well. But the rest of Anatolia, I want to have a crack at Greece, and I want to take Egypt. Uh, and then I'll be pretty happy. That might be a bit too ambitious, but we shall see. We shall see. It might not be. So, first things first, though. Let's get you into here. Lycos. Ceasefire with the Adrissians and the Galatians. Okay. Gabai has expanded. Fantastic. Oh, we got a uh, diplomat as well. So, civil disorder. Every time we get civil disorder. Nikea, repair that. What is that? City barracks. Hmm. You've not gone up much in your public order there, really, have you? Uh, we could go for... Yeah, it's not Greek. That is the big problem. Is it getting it's not getting converted to Greek either. I honestly think we just go straight through here, though. Um, yeah, let's go back to that civil disorder. Because you're already on low. Bis Pausatis. You'll be fine after that, I believe. Don't think you're going to be a uh, recruitment hub up here. I mean, you might be, but it'd be better in Antioch and Marginai. Yeah, we've sorted that one out anyway. Bispausatis. Let's go. And let us... I think we have to go for that Shrine to Hera to keep them happy. This one. I'm not going to try and pronounce that name, but okay. Could go for the Shrine to Hera. You're a large town. I mean, it's a bit of a rinse and repeat, guys, of a Shrine to Hera all the time. And then Karakata. Yeah, of course, that's writing because we're letting it go. Aesis. I would love some uh, some places with uh, some watchtowers on these borders, but they're just too expensive at the minute. I think they cost 1,500 still. No, that's mercenaries. 1,000, yeah. Just too expensive right now. We need to focus on our economy. Um, how much would a market bring in? 100. That's actually quite good. It's 2,000 though. What about a vineyard? A hundred. Go for the sewers. Keep people happy. Or we could just get rid of that corruption. Do you know Antioch? It needs a blacksmith. So let's go for a one military building. And then the rest of our money uh, we'll use for building some nice uh, economic buildings. Unless Babylon is going to be still be upset. Uh, we need to find places where we can build the yeah farming. Keep that farming going up. The inland uh, trade centers are quite good as well. Let's see whether Nippur 
would benefit from that. 144, 1,700. That's 10 turns. Uh, probably about 12 or 13 turns to repay itself. That's not too bad, you know. Trader over here. That's 10 turns. Directly 10 turns to, to pay for that. That's pretty good, honestly. Need somewhere where we can build the small farms, though. So that's there. Fantastic. Excellent. Uh, doing well, I think. I think we're doing well. I'm, I'm quite enjoying this, you know. I'm enjoying the challenge. Nicker Media, as well, only has wooden walls. But they've got the rest of their faction guys in here. Hoplites, Thracian tribesmen will not be a problem. And that, uh, Hippocontistae, yes. Words. We've got Nicomedes and Pytros of Bithynia. Let's go for them. Let's get rid of these boys once and for all. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battle map. Here we are. Ready to go. Especially before breakfast. Especially before second breakfast. Oh, we will feast. We will feast. Again, we're not going to use elephants. They they don't really do too well in uh, cities. We will use our generals again, of course. What's the point not to? In terms of you guys with the rams, no thank you. Let's uh, get all these boys together. I'm going to try and use the more damaged ones first. But of course, we will use our Chalka Speeders once again. Get them ahead. They're going to be the uh, sort of uh, front line, if you if you uh, if you will. And I do not w worry about using some of these Acontistai to break down the walls. Uh, do we have any more Javi boys? I mean, we've got Ellies. They can actually shoot over the walls, can't they? That'll be funny. The horse archer, the horse archer Ellies. They're too far away, though. Hopefully, they don't get shot by anyone. They've got quite a few troops in here. There we are. Get firing away, boys. Fire into them. The huge volleys of uh, <laughs> arrows from the elephants. Doing massive amount of damage. Oh, they're firing their javis. That's actually quite good. I'd much rather them fire their javis into my trash units rather than my good ones. That are going to do all the damage. So let's keep that going. And Ellie's keep firing. How much ammo do they have? 30 out 30. They're probably only firing 30 arrows at a time, aren't they? Come forward a bit. Yeah, you can fire away again, boys. And let's make sure... Yeah, these guys have taken a battering. The battering ram on the gate is uh, nearly not able to be manned. We've lost a lot of men. How are those Thracian tribesmen? 29. They're not too good, are they? So the two we're going to use first. Probably use. There's a lot of Javis coming in. So what I'll probably do. Get you guys there. Chalka Speeders come to there. Then we'll use our Hoplites this side along with our General. They kind of don't seem like they know what to do right now. They're kind of going all over the place, aren't they? Let's speed it up a little bit. Kind of want to get in then. So they're going to do nothing about it. Let's get in. Right, now let's get these boys back. You've you've served well, boys. <laughs> you've served us well. I'm going to turn them this way for now. I'm going to get you... Ideally get you to there. Ideally get you boys... These guys at the front, there. You guys get there. Oh, come on. This is it, boys. This is it. Who have they got around this side? Those... I think I think we set up for a charge. I think we'll charge them and do well. Okay, that's the enemy. Thracians, get in there. They've got their own Thracian sort of tribesmen. Ours are better, though. <laughs> We've got better Thracians than you, sir. You go there. You should be able to fire some Javis into these boys. 
I don't want you involved. I want you to be able to fire Javis. You guys get the phalanx. There you come in. See how we do on this charge. I'm going to rally as well so our general doesn't get killed on the charge. Oh. that's That was a real lovely charge. It's not broken them. Let's get uh, back here. We'll do another charge. I think one more charge will break them. Hoplites, you can come there. Fire your goddamn jabbies, boys. No, don't charge in. I don't get it. Just, just stay there. Are you guys firing your jabbies or not? Yes, you are. That's great. Charge. You guys now into here. Ideally, they're around there, really. Halt. We not broke them yet. Okay, that charge was a lot worse. Okay, this is going to be a lot tougher than I thought. A bit of a tough nut to crack, really. It's all about speed, though, isn't it? All right, now let's t turn and charge. That charge was terrible. That is terrible charge. Oh, no, now the Javis are coming. Going to have to get one of the Hoplites into them rather than the General. They're just taking too much damage. I think the General can come this side, though. These poor Thracians have taken a battering. How are you not firing? Right, generals, that's a good charge. That Hippacontistae is a trash unit. Get through. You guys fight them. Right, now we start marching. How many units was that that we just destroyed? We've still got Bithynian Hoplites. Come down here. And then you guys are there, but I don't want you to run. Pretty much killed them all there, haven't we? I want you guys behind. And I want this Thracian, ideally, towards the front line. Actually, no, not the front line. Uh, you guys fire. Would be ideal. Uh, and then cavalry, we're going to flank. I think cavalry, you come this way. We'll send most of the infantry this way. It don't really need to, to flank. We've got a phalangite unit, so... I just want him to run his bodyguards into the phalangites. Yeah. Where's our other general? There he is. Cool. Okay, you guys. Do we want you to flank, though? Um... I mean, it's a long way for you to go, but we'll we'll try. <laughs> we shall try. Right then, boys. Let's get up there. Hot potatoes, I want you, like, directly behind. Any, any spillover you will deal with. You guys and you. Here. Let's go. Anyone coming down this way? No. Okay, they're all on the town square. Bit annoying, but okay. Speed it up. Speed it up. Where's the other guy? Wait, he's just going the wrong way. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's get there. Is there any way we can tempt you to charge us, my friend? Is there any way I can tempt you? Okay. Here they come. They're firing at my Chalka Speeders. That's fine. Let them fire their Javis. Let them fire. Could have used some uh, missile boys now. They could go and they might be baited to attack this Greek Hoplite. But the Greek Hoplite, if it gets attacked, will get shredded. But we could then swoop in and destroy them. I just want them off the town square. Get there. I don't know how we can fit you in here. There. And then you guys there as well. Okay, here they come. Kind of. Wait, halt. Halt! Put your phalanxes down, guys! <laughs> Otherwise we shredded. Kind of the wrong way, but it's okay. 
And then I want you guys in there. You guys. Can we charge them in the back without getting stuck? I think we can try. Hoppertay's first, though. The phalanx is kind of turned the wrong way. Get the phalanx down, boys. I think we can do it. I think we're going to do it. Hoppertay's in the back. Cavalry in the back. Okay, cavalry in the back's not really worked. <laughs> get out, boys. <laughs> Just get out now. And what are these? Bithynian Hoplites. I think the I think these guys can do a good enough job. That's their king. Their king is dead. Dead king. Ha ha. Well, our king survives. Currently, anyway. I've not killed him off yet. Might do soon, but not yet. So ideally we want these guys to come off the town square. Just get in there. I don't know why you can't fit there properly, but it's it's a bit annoying. Yeah, you kill them. So, Javi boys. Ideally, if you could throw Javis into those Bithynian Hoplites, that would be amazing. Okay, now they come. Now they come. God, why do you have to do like a 360? Just just all just go to the nearest position. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Alright, speed it up. If we could get those guys firing. Oh, we forgot these Theroperoids. Okay, we're there breaking. Kind of want you guys in there. Hoplites, do you know what? Hoplites, get in there. I just want to bait these guys off the town square. Okay, they're coming. They're in the fight now. You guys get that way. Hoplites are going to struggle here, but we're going to use our secret weapon. Our glorious cavalry. Well, that was... I mean, that charge was okay, but it wasn't amazing, <laughs> I'd say. Uh, imagine if imagine if they were off the square. We could break them so easily. You guys fight them again. Speed it up. And I said we haven't killed Antiochus yet. <laughs> How long do we reckon, guys? <laughs> How long do we reckon, knowing me? <laughs> Always when I'm recording as well. <laughs> when I'm not recording, it's absolutely fine. Back in. We're doing a decent job against them, honestly. These guys have been amazing. Oh, no. I have killed one guy. And it was Ammo Bayon. No, not Ammo Bayon. Everyone get them. Well, at least we didn't kill Antiochus. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh, well. We'll find... We've got plenty of, like, people that we've uh, adopted recently. It was a, quite a bloody battle, but we killed double again. And on a siege battle, that's good enough. All siege battles are going to be bloody. I mean, our generals did really well, of course. That Thracian infantry did really well. 90. 114 for the Greek Hoppertes. Well done. More Thracian infantry doing really well. Chalka Speeders did okay. But, yeah. Great victory, guys. Bithynia should be dead now. So, we'll come back for the other settlement. And then we'll uh, go against Galatia. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And Nicomedia is ours. And of course, we're going to enslave. Bithynia is destroyed. The fools, they thought that they could outlast us. We will repair that, of course. And we will go. But who do we leave behind? Zero percent. Never brilliant. I don't really want to leave... Uh, some Theroperoi behind, but I will leave 37 Hoplites. How much does that give? Not much. Um, and some of you guys. I want to retrain you, ideally, if I can. I'm not sure I can, though. Oh, we'll send, uh, leave an Acontisti behind. Oh, that's made them happy straight away. And I can leave another Acontisti in there. Is that happiness? Can't take you, but could I take 54? I'm willing to risk on 66. 
And we do have another one there, Chalcodon, which is a large town. Kios, which is also a large town. I want to take both. So I think we go for Chalcodon first. And then we can keep an eye out over there. Let's go for ladders and then that. They've got some Hoplites, some Acontisti and Greek Peltasts, and that's it. Um, we'll conquer this whole little uh, little region here. Got a river protecting us. And then we'll go back to Sardis, uh, retrain, and take out the Galatians. We're making loads of money now. That is fantastic. I did get a diplomat, didn't I? Here he is. Here he is. Oh, we're allied with these guys. Do we trade rights? Um, balanced, really, for map information. Is it because I've already sold you it? Their offers 685 for paying a tribute of 50 for 7. I, I mean, I would try and scam them, but I don't want them to declare war on us. <laughs> so no scamming today, guys. Not today, at least. There probably will be some scamming in the campaign. But uh, I'm not going to scam the AI too much. Uh, Am Ammopeon is dead, unfortunately. So I think... Uh, Achilos. He's a named character. He's been in wars. He's sharp and he's... Well, Achilos, I like you, my friend. I'm going to send you to Sardis. Because you're going to be the secondary general for that army. Next to Antiochus, his uh, right-hand man, should we say. Pergamon really is a bit annoying. I kind of want to kill them, but <laughs> let them develop their uh, their place for a while first. 90%. 66 is going to be tough, but we've got the Temple of Hera being built. And if we really need to, we'll send another unit into there. Um, but I think that's it for this turn, is it not, guys? I can't see any uh, Ptolemies coming forward. Do we have any generals down here? That is a question indeed. Do I have any generals around here? We need at least one, don't we? And we have uh, Antiochus. Another one. I think he's third generation. He's a Seleucid. Minus one from personal security. This man is a direct descendant of Seleucus I Nicator. One of the generals of Alexander the Great. His lineage gives him privilege and influence over ordinary men. Makes sense to have minus one personal security because the Seleucids... Out of all the uh, Diadochi, Diadochi, the Diadochi, they were one of the um, one of the only Diadochi that that really integrated their cultures compared to a lot of the others. Uh, Seleucus, Seleucos. If I'm correct in this, someone correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe Seleucos was the only one that really accepted his Persian wife, um, and the rest of them got rid of them as soon as Alexander died. Whereas Seleucos did not. Uh, but he's got a lot of morale. He's very likely to be assassinated, though. But, uh, yeah, what is that not just in friendly tone? No, superstitious plus one morale. That's great. 60% uh, less. Oh, well, that's not great. Two morale. Uh, that's for friendly territory. So I think we'll use you. You're a pretty good guy. Pretty good. Um and decent. We can, because the Cappadocia are our protectorate now, we can see what they can see. What about Atropatine? Atropatine? We, did you not become a protectorate? I don't think so. Who else has become a protectorate? Is it Greeks? I think it is, because we can see the sort of area there. So that's fine. That's brilliant. Well, uh, shall we end the turn, guys? We're going to take uh, Chalcodon, and then we'll take Chios. Very nice. Spy's having a little bit of a uh, cheeky look around. I'll get our diplomat up to Pontus and see what see what's going on, see what they want. Ideally, the best ally for me in this area right now would be Armenia. Hello, Armenia. They want to become a protectorate. I can scam them at 50 for 14 turns. I mean, 750 gold is, is not, a, not much. So, I'll accept that. I'll offer you map information for, like... See, a lot of people will be doing this at the start because of how powerful we are. Uh, see, the Adrissians might even do it now. No, they just want trade rights. That's good. I can sell you map information, then. Would you like some map information, my friend? 
the, the finest maps. The finest map information. Okay, 2,000 for that. That's pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. Very, very much. Um, so I will assault this city. Uh, not Kios. What's it called? Chalcodon. We will assault Chalcodon. Koinos. He's Iranian. Mm, I don't want an Iranian. Give me Greeks. Yeah, we let that one uh, go. Alexandria Charax has upgraded. Fantastic. Um, and then Arharpa. Fantastic as well. Now, where's the Civil Disorder this turn? <laughs> Civil Disorder everywhere. 10% uh, bonus. Or an extra 5%. We'll go for the sewers. I think we'll be able to uh, sort this one out before they rebel. Uh, Iasonian. Okay, so a lot of these places we're just having to eventually turn them down to low. Nippur. Oh, Nippur is fine. I, I don't know why they've got so upset for a sec. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, oh, wait, the, the Parthia have declared war on us. And Armenia has become our client kingdom. That's because of Parthia. We're just we're just expanding our grubby tendrils everywhere, aren't we? I mean, interesting though. Why a Parthia at war with Armenia? Parthia over here. That's interesting. Well, looks like we're going to lose a few cities in the east. So we kind of want to make Zadrakata up here a bit of a recruitment hub. I'm going to put you on low so you get some more uh, some more going. We'll go for the militia barracks. Yeah, let's go straight for the militia barracks. Unless there's a better option. Togai, Togai is just a town. Hecatompolos is just a, t a large town with less people though. Uh, large town, less people. Amaradia is a large town, less people. And that's also a large town, but slightly... It's got a militia barracks here, though. So I think... Yeah, let's go straight for the militia barracks. Is there anything we can re recruit? Just Prodromoi, which is not great. But the Parthians will be quite strong. So... It's a slight worry. It is a slight worry, honestly. Where's Ekbatana? Up here. No, it's not. Uh, oh, it's all the way over here, Ekbatana, isn't it? I believe. Or am I completely... No, Ekbatana's here. So this is kind of a crossroads, Ekbatana, I guess. Do we risk moving some of these boyos out? I think we do. Put it down to low. It's going to take them a while to get to the front line. 68% is fine. going to take a few turns to get there. But they uh, they will get there eventually. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, we want a temple of Hephaestus. So let's go for that. Unless we. Yeah, let's go for that. Temple of Hephaestus. We're also built in Seleucia. So let's build again. This is our money hub. Currently makes 6,000. Wow. That is fantastic. How much does this make? 1,000. How much do you cost? 3,000. Wow, that is absolutely glorious. You now what, Babylon? We'll put you on low because we want you to grow as well. Um, I think... Let's go for the market. How much will that bring? 39. Are you sure that's all you're going to bring? It's really a big balancing act right now of what to build, etc. Oh, we are building those river ports there. That's great. About the inland trade center over here. It's 229. It's not quite Saluk yet. What about a market? 55. But it's still pretty good. I mean, is there anywhere we can build mines would be great. Uh, I did get advised to build mines in these regions. Over here. But actually, a port is probably a better option. Uh, we'll go for land clearance here. Also brings up population growth, which will increase 
Uh, we'll go for trying to hear her there, which will increase our glorious. Um, sorry, what were we talking about? The resistance. Yeah, also increases our population, sorry. So, basically, increasing the population means more taxes. So, we're doing well. We're doing fine. Right then, Chalcodon. Yes, Chalcodon. I want you to feel the pain. How long, though, does it take? Yeah, six turns. We're not waiting six turns. we going in for the kill right now. Anyway, guys, I will see you at Chalcodon on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Yes, he will be. Not the most. Oh, why didn't I wait again? Why is it so foggy? Every battle we play. Sorry, guys. I should have waited. I mean, it's still we're still fine. We can still see everything. Uh, Ladder-wise, we don't have as many throwaway units to be on the ladders. I don't. They might have peltas on the walls, but. You know, I want you to go straight up there. Let's get our hoplites. Why do you have missiles, bro? What? Is it the tower? The siege tower? I don't know. But you, yeah, you're fine with the siege tower. We'll go up there. Uh, and then we'll get these damaged boyos. You can go over here. And then we'll leave the rest for now. So let's group you boys together. And then you boys, all on fire at will. We'll use you where we see fit, really. If I can get you there, please. Again, we'll use the Chalka Speeders. The Agira Speeders are our sort of elite reserve at the minute. They're our old guard, if you know any Napoleonic history. They are our old guard, and we only have... Antiochus at the Antiochus at the minute. Uh, well, we're not getting up there while they're there. So let's do that. And let's do that. Yep. They've just got one person on the walls. And what is it? The Acontisti. They should die very easily to uh, Hoplites. And what we'll send... Should we send... We'll send a Theroperoi that way. Yep. You get over there. If they move, then we'll send these guys forward. Once you're done, go kill these guys. Get through. Ah, oh, they're going to fight on there. That's not what, really what we want, but... Okay, Theroperoi will get you up. You guys get up there. Siege tower's done. Uh, once we're done with the siege tower, we'll... Uh, once they, they're out, which they should be soon. Come on, boys. Get out of the siege tower. Oh, they uh, they couldn't even get up. What losers? What fools? You should really be shredding this Akontis tight. And they kind of are. They're doing okay against it. Right, you need to come and attack those guys whenever you get a chance. So you start taking these towers. Now they should start getting shot by their own towers, which is great. And the uh, Acontisti should die. Oh, they're broken. They're fighting to the death. So you guys just stand here. And then where are our archers? You guys get up there now. So what else do they have? This is one of the uh, the new sort of layouts for the city as well, guys. Which is quite cool to see. Let's see whether they can get through that little gap. No, they can't. They have to go around. So our best bet is coming this way. Definitely. We've got Theodotus over there. So, these guys, let's go. And then we want the Chalka Speeders. Who are you? Greek Peltasts. Sounds like a job for the cavalry. And then we'll get you boys. Apart from you. Uh, in. 
Uh, and then you guys kind of, well, you send uh, these guys around to here. We'll send these guys around to, say, here. And then they can come down and come this way. And you guys can come down here. Should be wavering. Kill these Peltasts. They're only darn Peltasts. So what is that way? Greek Hoplites. I want you there, ideally. So get there. Where that general going? What have they got? Hoplites in the middle as well. Let's get our general... Well, actually, you know what? He can just run all the way straight through. They're not going to throw any javies or anything at him. So that's fine. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Speed up. Speed your goddamn selves up. Phalanx. Right, you two this way. And we'll send you two through the middle. And I want the uh, Hoplites first. The Roparoi behind. Cool. All sounds good at the minute. And then we want... Uh, ideally, these guys need to be the uh, the leaders of the charge. And squishing the enemy against them. So, let's go. See what they do. Ideally, again, we want to rout them rather than fight them on the town square. Because they will last forever on the town square, like we know. So, if you could get, like, here, that would be fantastic. And if you two could get, like, there, I think you might be able to fire your javis. For some reason, the Thropro don't seem too keen on firing their javis very often, though. It might force them into action. It looks like it has. Yeah, it's halt. Guys, get your phalanx down, please. Once again, phalangites, you are slow. Get them. Then this way, we'll come here. Again, I want to bait them out, but if they won't come out, then that is no problem of mine. Can I get it, like, on the edge here? That would be fantastic. Phalangites. These phalangites have served us really well. So far. Now it's time for the charge. I don't want my general to get stuck, though, of course. That should have killed a few more, I think. Oh, good. Javis are going into them. Kill this, this rebel. This rebel fool. Okay, now, general, get out. Antiochus, let's go. Yeah, get through. Good, he's through. Uh, these guys are coming over this way. You guys fired off your jabbies? Yes, you have. You can charge then. So this should be able to fire their jabbies now. Go. One more volley, please. It's not really done much damage, that has it. Get the back of them. I would like... You two. To go and fight them. Yeah, we've surrounded this unit, which is great. This one's just going to take a bit a bit of fighting. All right, get there. And you guys get there. Now get them. Now I want you to go after him. And once this unit's dead... How is it steady still? Damn. They're tougher than you think, these Hoplites. These ones are a bit rubbish, but okay. Let's get it forward, give them a bit of a rally, give them a bit of a boost. Come on, boys, fight them. <laughs> fight them hard. That's what we like to see. God, these guys, are, they've lasted a while in there. I thought they would have routed by now, honestly. There they are. They're all bloody and muddy. You can see, yeah, there they are. They go die now. Oh, we killed those guys anyway. Where's the enemy, then? Who are they? F oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he just stood there. Oh, we killed a lot more than we lost that time. Fantastic. 
Thracian Infantry, Greek Hoplites, Chalcospedes, Hoplites and Bodyguard all doing well. Well done, my boys. Once again, a glorious victory for Seleucia. So, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And again, we will enslave. Keeps the population growth going up in all our, our, our neighboring cities. Um, and now, who do we leave behind this time? That's the problem. I maybe should have left a few Acontisti around. You. Let's have a look. If I come out. Again, very unhappy. Makes perfect sense, to be fair. Yeah, 20%. And then we're back down to 75% there. Huh. About you. If I take you out. 66. Yeah. Could. Um, well, first things first. This is Greek, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Why are you so upset? Just unrest? Culture penalty? Ah, because... Not fully Greek. It's also... Greek. What What are our buildings, then? Okay, let's have a look at our buildings. Our buildings are Eastern Hellenic. Okay, that's why we're getting such huge culture penalty here. Also going to build... Of course I'm going to build a shrine to Hera. That's our go-to move right now with taking cities. But I, I need to leave someone behind. I could do the archers. It's not enough. It's not enough. Prodromoi, because they're actually not that useful. That's enough. Right. I think this one... It's a lot stronger garrison. So what we'll probably do... Is... Wait a couple of turns. Not full six turns, but a couple. See, birth has expanded because of the... Uh, because of the uh, enslavement there. Great. Ah, yeah, Cappadocia. Uh, sorry, not Cappadocia. Armenia. Armenia is in a decent position. It's quite spread out, though, isn't it? Rife for the taking, really. Cappadocia, where are you going with your armies, my friend? Are you going north? That would be great if you'd go north, please, rather than south towards me. <laughs> you look suspiciously like you want to go south, but you can't. So that's good. There are mountains in the way, my friend. There are mountains... Oh, hello. That's not ideal, is it? That's not someone we want to want to see on the on the front line there. Wait, Achilles. Who did we send to Sardis? Were you going to Sardis? I think Achilles was. What about Hermaeus? Superior commander. Nah, the drill master. I don't want drill master. That lack of morale. So I send a chaos there. Oh, that's made them very unhappy. So I guess we'll leave a chaos out of the city for now. <laughs> he makes them very unhappy. Poor guy. We don't seem to have any Ptolemies on this, this southern border yet. But oh well. We shall see. And I'll uh, end the turn there. If we do get attacked by them, there's not a huge amount we can do. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That is early, bro. What, five or six turns in? That is early. I will trade with you for now, Galatians. Thanks. We can trade. We can make money, bro. I'll let you make some money. Trading with the big boys. Oh, God, I can't believe the Ptolemies have attacked us so early, bro. We must go our separate ways. Uh, I mean, I... Make a counter-offer. Don't do that. What's this? I don't even never seen that before. What is that? Whatever. Be quick. Our patience is limited. Oh, they they declared war on us. Be quick. Give you map information, bro. <laughs> Surely you just. So that's Cappadocia now attacking us. Oh God. 
This is the t this is the difficulty. This is the difficulty, guys. This is the difficulty. Now, where are you? You're in Ephesus as well. Oh my God! This guy just wants to wants to take as many people as he can. Okay, we got a new guy at Zadricata. That's actually quite good. Cappadocia, of course, their independence has uh, been nullified. Alright, we'll turn that down. So then, I think this turn, probably focus on military. So we're at war with the Ptolemies. They've broken alliance. Ah, oh, so Armenia's gone as well. So Cappadocia's at war. How are we with Armenia then? Can I see their settlements? We're neutral with Armenia. And we've got trade rights. Where's this guy? Cappadocia? Can we ceasefire? Our patience is truly you just don't really want to fight you. I mean, you've got the... Um, I can't really remember where you said. So you've got these two, but then it's a big gap, isn't it? So I think we'll be okay, you know. That's an Armenian one. That's Armenia as well. Well, we kind of need to sort an army out over here. So the place to do that is Antioch, of course. We'll put Antioch on low tax rate. We just don't... We don't have a great selection of troops, do we? They cost so much as well. Let's go for one hoplite for now. We'll just do them one at a time. It's going to take them a while until they start getting to some of our settlements to take them. We do have this little guy. So what if I left you? Would you be happy? Would you ha be happy? Yes, I guess. I don't think they'll have a huge amount of armies here. But let's go for that. I think we just go straight for it, you know. Rather than picking up more people. That army's not great, but it's it's something. And even if it doesn't work, it'll slow them down. You're only on 57%. It's not ideal, is it? Your you need is trying to hear her as well. I think... I mean, we could go for the siege straight away. Oh, well... Well, I think I'm going to ask you guys. I can either go for this siege straight away. Try and take this right now. Probably exterminate them. Then move south to deal with the Ptolemies. Sardis we should recruit. It's got to be the Chalka Speeders, hasn't it? They cost 2,000 each, though. I'm going to queue two. Uh, Antioch, we're queuing some troops. Cappadocia's up there. Yeah, I think so. Cappadocia there, there, there. And then there and there. That's Cappadocia. We can take them out, I think. We just need to pull together some troops. Can you build troops? You can build Peltasts. That's not what we really want. Do you know what? Seleucia isn't too far away. <laughs> when I say it isn't too far away... It's quite far. It's going to take you ages to get up here, isn't it? Yeah, there's no point moving you yet. We can probably get rid of you. Good. Right, let's do our building. Whatever building we want. Goodbye, upgraded. That's good. But I think we need to build in strategic places. Predominantly places that are really unhappy. So, Kiziokos. Let's build the shrine to... Hera, as usual. Alexandria, Carmania. Cool. Sagalos. Okay, Sagalos already has two shrines to Hera, so we've got to go for a sewer. Bamea. Go for the sewer there as well. Let's make sure we're building in the unhappy places for now. Kadoi will build the shrine to Hera. Uh... Dolice, same again. An extra 10% is so powerful. Build there. Harmosia, you can build that. And then Armadia, build that. And then, oh, that was all. That was just about right. Just about perfect. You really need to get happy over here. 
Otherwise, we'll lose that, that route up this way to expansion. So it's definitely, uh, yeah, it's definitely ramped up the difficulty right now. We were just chilling. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to let you guys decide. Do we force a victory in here, then return to Sardis and retrain? I guess we can retrain. So if we came to Sardis, they'll probably the only place they're going to take is Meandros, which has Hermaeus in. Um, what army? I mean, we, yeah, I can't scrape all these guys together and kill enough. I do have two generals. Do you know what? We might do a general stack, boys. I think we'd be okay with a general stack. Joe, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll try that. But I'll let you decide whether we want to take Kios straight away right now and try and break down those walls and come into Kios. Three units of, uh, of the Hoplites are the main problem. Um, and I think we'll be fine with the, the army we have. It just might be quite brutal of a fight. Um, whether we do that and then come to Sardis and and uh, go down south to the Ptolemies, or whether we go straight at Chios, take it, retrain at Sardis, then the Ptolemies, or whether we come straight from there. Those are the two options, guys. So let me know down in the description down below what you think, and I'll have a think about it as well. Over this way, we do have a bit of an army, and it's when I say a bit, it is just a bit of an army. Are you happy if I come out? Not really, but uh, you will be now. Don't go around that way. You go there. Then we'll get... We need all the troops we can get. Maybe we can try and force them into submission. If we take a few of their territories out down here in the, in the lands that we should reclaim ourselves anyway. Um, but that's okay. We've got threats on all fronts now, guys. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do to finish off this episode, guys, is we're just going to show you a few of the stats. So we start with... We, we had 90 regions to start with. We're ranking reasonably well. Financially, not great. Uh, but it is the AI. So let's have a look. The uh, top five factions. I'm also going to add in Cappadocia, if I can remember what they look like. Armenia. Where's Cappadocia? I need to find out what they look like. Uh, is that them? So that sort of colour. Get back up. Cappadocia. It's kind of like an orangey. Kyrene. The tarn. It's like a bloke on the uh, on the flag. There we are. So Cappadocia, and then so top five factions plus Cappadocia. Plus Armenia. And plus Parthia, if we can. So they're all down there. I mean, we're up here, so... It's okay. Rome's doing really well right now. That is Rome, right? Yeah. Carthage is also doing really well. Me and the Ptolemies are pretty much exactly the same in terms of military. Oh, wow. Antigonid's doing quite well as well. Production ranking. We've dropped off a lot last turn because we're going military right now. Territorially, of course, we are the top, but we started as the top, and we've kind of gone up, now gone down. Uh, finances, that is Rome bouncing around everywhere. That is us kind of coming up and then going down. Population, we have the most, and overall, we're very close. Everyone's very close. So, decent overall. We're going to start losing money now, though, because we're putting together as many troops as we can. Goddamn Ptolemy's attacking us so early. But I think we'll be able to beat them if we gather all our generals together and go for a fat general stack. I think we'll I think we can beat them. And Samos needs to be taken. And then they've got there. Do they have no Rhodes has Rhodes, of course. Rhodes is so rich. Uh, that'll be a good target to take at some point. But they've got like all this territory down here. All this little area. So we need to take all that and Cyprus. And if we can push them back a bit, I can definitely see them forcing a ceasefire at some point. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. The difficulty's definitely ramped up. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. Really does. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again on the next video.